everybody and welcome back to my Minecraft Hardcore Survival World. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing great because check this out. We built this from the ground up. There was absolutely nothing here before and we have now a bunch of fields. We have a broken, messed up old wheat field. A very nice pristine one in the back. We also have a carrot and a potato field. A beetroot field. That's right. Everyone needs a beetroot field. We also added this lovely path over here. Custom trees all the way around and I'm going to add even more custom trees. This is just like stage one of the custom treeage. A few moments later. And I think this might do it. Check that out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And the one I'm doing right here is seven. This should be good. Let's see. Maybe one more bushy bush. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks awesome. See, just adding a little bit of detail like that just makes this field look even better than it did before. And I have visitors. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, llama friend, help! <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. I uh, didn't see you guys there. Uh, continue. I don't need a raid right now. Or ever. Thank you so much. Actually, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm just gonna make something here real quick. Yep. Oh, you bunch of cowards! You went away? <laughs> okay. Next time, I will get you. And I did ask you guys last episode to name my beautiful llama, and we have a name. Everybody say hello to Fernando. <laughs> Fernando is the greatest farmhand ever. And thank you for Judelis Villar. Did I say that right? Probably not. For the amazing name. You know what we need a name for as well? The actual farm area. What should we call our farms? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'll pick it in the next one. And you know what? We do have a lot of farmland here. So I think it's time we do a little bit of farming. Let's collect some of this farming material and see how much we can get. And we're done gathering. Let me show you all the stuff I got. We have this, 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 that, this, some of that, this here, and this. That's a lot of crops. And we haven't even planted them back yet. Here comes the fun part. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, let's replant. <laughs> and we're finished. Everything is replanted. This took way longer to plant than it took to harvest. My God, this goes, <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to do this in my life. But something that we can do is with all the excess stuff, specifically all the seeds. Now, right here on the side of the house, we can go ahead and do this. Put a couple barrels, get some hoppers, put that on top. Get some compost, just put that on top of that. Get a couple more hoppers, put that on top here, and a double chest, like that. And then for decoration, let's just get a couple trap doors. Ah, I fell. And then just two of those on top. And there we go. A little bone meal generator here on the side of the building. All we gotta do is dump all of our seeds here, and this just makes bone meal very slowly but it makes it. There it is, our first bone meal. And then that could run in the background with all the excess seeds we have. Ain't that right, Fernando? And then we can get all our wheat, all our beetroot. Oh, I definitely gotta put those seeds in the trash. We're never gonna need that much beetroot. Goodbye. And then get the rest of the potatoes and the rest of the carrots. And now with all the extra crops we just got, we can go ahead and put them here. Because what I'm thinking about doing now is taking advantage of all these crops we're getting and trade them with farmer villagers. And I just so happen to have two recruits right over here. Hi, friends. Oh. Um, give me a second. Get out. Hi. See? Told you. Farmer. Oh, come on now. Yeah, I know. They're weird. There you go. Be free. Now get in there. Thank you. Don't mind me. I'm taking these to the farm. All right, here we go. We got these two lovely farmers here. Well, one farmer, one non-farmer. Oh, and this one loves to control that boat. <laughs> You're like a captain. You should have been a fisherman. Oh, you guys are cute. What's wrong with your neck? Oh, that looks like it hurt. Oh, that looks like it hurt. Oh God. Now I just have to get him in there. Hmm. Now they both took the farmer profession. So all I gotta do now is lock them in. There you go, thank you. Lock this one in. Perfect, thank you. And now they are forever farmers. Put that over here. Put that over here. Break the boat. Kacha! Perfect. And... Perfect. Come with me, we're going to a safe place. Come on, come, come, come. There it goes. Let's get you up into the big house. One composter at a time. Upstairs, friends. Welcome to the farm. You guys mind going in here for a second? It's nice and safe in here. Come on in. Come on in there. Oh, sorry. Go on in there. You can hang out in here. There we go. 
extra precautions. You guys can't get out of here. You're trapped here forever. We do more trades. Thank you. This way we can get some golden carrots, right? Oh, I can make an automatic pumpkin and melon farm soon too. Oh, this is great. Check this out. We got so much bone meal now. Trade with me. Look at that. Woo, take all my beetroot. Oh, cookies. Oh, baby. You know what? I'll take some cookies. Yeah, give me more. Oh, okay, so we got the pumpkin and we got the melons on both of them. Oh, cake. Yes, please. I'll take all your cakes. I didn't know you were a baker. Oh, we got it. The golden carrot trade. Oh, yes. So good. Oh, we got both masters. Oh, perfect. Now give me some of these golden carrots. Oh, so nice. I'll take some cookies too. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. What a great idea that was. So far in this world, we got all of our basics taken care of, right? We got our crop fields over here for our food. We took care of our animal pen over here. So we got chickens, we got cows, we got a goat and a donkey, and we got sheep. We have our beautiful tower over here with whiskers. What's up, whiskers? And in here, we have our enchanting. We have our nether portal. We've got our starter house taken care of. We have our lovely greenhouse over here that's taking care of pretty much our bees. And our sugarcane farm is doing lovely over here. Look at all that. We're even good with librarian villagers over here with our big old villager trading hall. So if you're playing Minecraft with me and you have all these things taken care of, what is the next logical step? What do we need to build next? I think it's time to build ourselves an iron farm. And right behind me is the perfect spot. Right down this path over here, curving down this way and eventually connect over here to this path. And this is gonna keep going eventually to our village that we're gonna do a village transformation on. But right here, we're gonna curve off and we're going up into this little hill, which is a perfect spot to build an iron farm. But not just any iron farm. Oh, no, no, no. We're gonna make this one very special. We're gonna be building an iron farm castle. Oh, yes. And I've built many iron farms in my day, but let me show you all the ones we've done so far and show you how this one's gonna be a little different. Come with me on a journey. Now, this world you see right here is my Minecraft 116 hardcore world. And in this world, oh man, I have a very cool iron farm. It's right down here. Check this out. It's like a little mansion. It's a hardcore world iron farm mansion. And this came out pretty cool. I don't think I've ever built a building exactly like this specifically for an iron farm. It's really nice. Check out the inside. There it is. It's pretty cool. Oh, uh, they live here. This is actually um, where they work. I forgot about that. I've always used Logical Geek Boy's iron farm tutorial, and I'm going to put a link in the description. I use it every time. It works the greatest. I think it's awesome. And I'm going to use it again. Well, this is a pretty cool one, right? I like it a lot. Now, jumping over here to my Minecraft 117 hardcore world, I made this awesome island. And in this island, we do have ourselves an iron farm inside this active volcano. And this one actually, oh, this was really fun to make, especially the terraforming to make the actual volcano. But again, Logical Geek Boys tutorial for the iron farm. We got the two pods over here. And in the center, we have our zombie and this thing. Oh man, this is awesome. We got ruins on the inside and a full on Aztec like island on the outside, which is pretty cool. Oh, the memories for our Minecraft 118 hardcore world. I went back to a more traditional look. So inspired by the mansion, I built myself this really cool little warehouse oh, for our iron farm. And this thing, oh, little steampunk look to it. Very, very nice. And again, we have ourselves the logical geek boy tutorial, but this time just one section, just one pod instead of two, but it works lovely. And you can hear, right? You hear that? It's working so cool. But the interior here just looks very, very nice. I love the copper roof. And then last but not least, we have our Empire's SMP season one iron farm castle. This thing is epic, it's huge. It has so much detail in this castle. But again, we still have the same pods over here. Here, just a huge castle to surround it. And now it's time to go back to our 119 world. Uh, let me show you what I have in mind there. And this is what I had in mind for the outline for this castle. A little bit more organic, a little bit more free flowing, not as symmetrical as the one we had on Empires. And I think this came out really cool. I actually molded it kind of to the terrain that we have around here. So it's not too big, it's not too small. And I think it should fit the iron farm on the inside just perfectly. As far as block palette for the bottom bits, we have cobble, we have stone, we have some mossy. I have some stone brick, a little bit of tough. Let me give you guys a little bit of the idea of the block palette on top of the ones we have here for the base. So block palette kind of starting out like this, just random scatterings of all the different stone bits going up into a little bit of a gradient like so. Then from here, the next layer, we're gonna bring in a little bit of the diorite, some white concrete like this. 
a little bit of the polish going up into the white concrete but primarily white concrete towards the top bits and then towards the bottom bits we're gonna get the brokenness of uh, the diorites in here of course we blend these in a little bit like that so it's not just a complete line going down one end and then on top of that we're gonna bring in a little bit of the strip spruce maybe a bit of oak in certain spots textured in and then for the roof we're gonna bring in a mix of the cobble deep slate and a little bit of the deep slate brick like that there we go so something like that going up on these walls but before we build up the castle i need to make sure this iron farm works so let's go ahead and build that thing first Now the easy part is all set up already. We have the iron farm, it's done. The only thing we need to get now is the villagers. Oh man, that is that is just torture. Uh, the zombie, not so bad, but the villagers, oh. Let's go get them. Now the best thing that I did is open up the villager trading hall over there and we have some <laughs> that actually uh, came down here. I think there's one in my house. Yep, we have some one in my house. Uh, this one here, this is the best one. This is my favorite one. Uh, so we have at least two there and I think I let some loose over here. I got one in a boat uh, all the way on this side too. Oh, two in a boat. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's great. Let's start with these first. <laughs> these uh, look like they're going to be simpler. Let's make a couple extra boats. Oh, hi. Welcome. I guess to my house there we have it three villagers we have three beds over there it is almost nighttime i also have uh, a cauldron because apparently uh, this villager didn't want to be anything but a leather worker and also a couple composters so once i take them out of this boat they should head over to these little uh, villager uh, uh, profession blocks or whatever but i think they might bypass that and go for the beds once they go for the beds they go to sleep i can knock down all that stuff let's see if let's see if this works out please please work out go Go, 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 go my pretties, onward to get stuck up there and make me all the iron that I need. Please, 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 come on down. There they go. Oh, perfect, perfect. Head on up. Okay, where's the, where's the other one? The other one? Hello? No, not that bed. Get, that's my bed. That's my bed. Go to the other bed, silly. Come on. We have one only. Where's the other one? Where's your friend? Oh, there you are, sweet, sweet friend of mine. Go up there, please. You'll be safe on top, I promise. Go on. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, best day ever. Oh, there's a creeper over there. Okay, let's knock down all this stuff. Let's make sure they don't get scared if any zombie were to come right now. They will get scared, okay? Get rid of all this. And it's very dangerous now. We need to find ourselves a zombie and go up there. Oh, uh, let's kill this creeper first. Hello. Bye-bye. I will not be stopped. Thank you. You're dead. I see a zombie. Here we go. Come on, friend. Follow me. I bet you didn't think today was going to be your lucky day. Yep. You're going to live forever. This should be perfectly set up that all I got to do is walk right underneath here. Zombie's going to go right there in the center. I'm going to open this up right now. Perfect. And then you're just going to walk on in. Oh, sorry. <gasps> it started. There it is. Oh, and I got that just in case. Yes. And boop! Hello, Tiny Hulk. Welcome to the rest of your life. Uh, let's just break that. Lovely. I'm going to go ahead and do this. This goes up here. This goes here and here. And they will not burn in the sunlight. Yes! <laughs> it's already working. <laughs> this is so good. I also have to spawn proof this whole thing. And make sure none of these iron golems spawn down here. But for right now, though, it's working. It's working. <laughs> now let's collect materials for the castle. Let's start by knocking down this spruce. Collecting some oak. Let's grab some bushes too. We could use a little bit of dark oak. I could use some of this bush too. I love bush. Now I need to go down here and get myself a little bit of diorite. Oh, that's scary. Uh, let's go around that way. Yep, definitely the safer way. Oh, it's scary down there. Oh, bad guys. Oh, we can handle this. Hello. Come on up. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, you didn't die from that? Okay. Come here. Precious diorite. Look at the little glow boys over there. Cute. Let's grab it. I'm also going to need some deep slate, so let's go in a safe location for it. Hello. Down over here. Woohoo! Oh, please work. Oh! Oh, I get scared every time. Oh, why do I have the door open? Oh, that could have been dangerous. Okay. Let's go down one of our mining areas here. Let's go this way. 
Get a little bit deep state. I didn't get any diamonds. <laughs> but it's okay. We got the deep slate. Back up we go. Now, one of the main reasons that I wanted this bone meal generator, well, for bone meal, yes, but look what bone meal gives you. White dye. Oh, this is all I need right now. So we can make a bunch of white concrete powder. Oh, and I think that's more than enough. I'm a genius. And I'm just gonna put our water down here and we're gonna make some white concrete. Science. And I think with that, we're ready to go. Check out all this material, and I think this is it. This should be good. Just don't judge my organizational skills of those chests. Also, don't tell my friend Pearl. I'm working on it, but I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Let's build up our iron farm castle. Iron Farm Castle is complete. Look at those details. Oh, doesn't it just look awesome? On top of the gradient we set out at the beginning, I also added a little bit of bush going up on the side here with some fences and some vine action. I wrapped it around the side here as well, which looks pretty awesome. Started to add a little bit of vine too, so it looks pretty cool going up the side. And some lichen there at the bottom. Some of the iron golems started to spawn out here. So I added a little bit of the mossy carpet and some slabs. So hopefully that took care of it. I haven't seen them spawn out here since. I did add some peonies out here, but I want to add even more flowers. A little bit more mossy bits, some more rocks, and some kind of scattered trees in certain spots. Right now it's kind of plain, but we'll get to that in a second. Let me show you the inside. As you come on in here to this part, we have just a little bit of storage, a little bit of a dip down here with some coarse dirt. We can come up here to the top, shoot arrows through the arrow slit windows. So this was, this castle's pretty well defended. Even though it's not like a big portcullis gate or anything, it's pretty much just this. But you know what, I just noticed. We should have a big door or something, uh, kind of like closing this off. Or just some trap doors on the side here, like the doors open. Yeah, I'll add that in a second, but let's go on the inside. So as we come on in here, I have shelving all the way down on this side. Shelves over here on this end, a nice little smeltery area. And I think everything here is not spawnable. These are all slabs. Wherever there's no slabs, there's kind of trap doors on top. Every slab of trap door has either a light or a flower pot on it. And then we, oh. Except for this room. Hi. Yeah, I forgot. Um, I gotta put carpet in this room. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I found uh, one issue. Well, I'll take care of that now. But everything is unspawnable. I completely forgot about that room. But we have a little, nice little railing over here that we can see the action happen. Uh, everything is perfectly safe up here. The iron golems can't touch that zombie and the villagers can't get down. Over here in this balcony, we have a nice little walk around bit. Oh, uh, the views. I gotta transform that soon. But I have to get rid of this guy. So let's see if we can do this from here. Uh, I did die in a hardcore world from an iron golem. So let's uh, not repeat that situation. Uh. Okay, all safe. I need to cover this up. But on the tippy top, this is my AFK spot. This is where I'm gonna hang out at night. Uh, there's a place to sleep, a spot here to relax and uh, to write some lore up here on the top. And then while I'm up here, all the iron golems are gonna be spawning in. Hopefully not in here anymore. Let me just grab a little bit of carpet so uh, no golems will spawn down there. Just some white carpet should do. Now while we're here, let's just continue the path we have. I'll give a nice little lining and curve around to where I have that course there. There we go, perfect. And as we head up the path, I wanna add a couple of these nice spruce buttons. It kinda looks like twigs on the ground. I started adding some in here too. All right, let's carpet this up so that doesn't happen again. 
Perfect. Nice and secure. I put some extra carpet out here too, just in case. I did see one kind of spawn like in between at one point, get suffocated a little bit and kind of like move this way. Uh, so I think this should be good. I think. Now at one point while building this, I did have to shut the farm down. I kind of blocked the line of sight over there with the zombies because the floor, it wasn't spawn proofed and uh, we did get a couple golems spawning in random places. But once I had this all secure, I was able to turn it back on and the thing has been running ever since I've been building this thing, hanging out in the area, doing the terraforming, doing the interior. So, so far, let me show you how much iron I have. One, two, three. <laughs> that's so good! Oh, wait, plus five. We did a little extra killing. Oh, but that's so good. Look at these little poppies down here. Oh, lovely. And this is just a little bit of time that passed. I'm gonna let this run tonight and see how much we get overnight. Now, where do you rank this iron farm compared to all the others? Let me know in the comments. Give me a tier list of every iron farm that I've ever done. Let me know what's your favorite, least favorite. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna let this one grow on me a little bit before I rank mine. But I do love this castle. Oh man. I think we should do one more thing though, just to make the outside just a little bit prettier. Let me show you. Woo, look at this. Oh yeah, that is looking a lot better. We got rocks everywhere going down this line. Coarse dirt, a little bit of bush action, extra flower bits, and it just looks more alive. Mossy down here, a little bit of the mud. It looks a little bit like a shrubland kind of spot, right? I was gonna add some trees, but I was like, you know what? Mostly for castles, you don't want any trees kind of in the surrounding area because in order for them to defend the castle, they can't have any uh, thing obstructing their line of sight. If anything, I'll add some trees down here on this area, but right here, oh, this is looking perfect. But that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode from the Hardcore World. Goodbye.